comes down to diversification because like not every market's created equal here. Um, if you start looking at what technology has done, where the S and P's trading versus other asset classes, I mean the S and P now trades at like 22 and a half times forward earnings. That's in like the 96 percentile of the most expensive. You know, going way back to the tech bubble when it traded like something like 25 times forward earnings. However, when you start looking at other sectors and other asset classes. You start looking at financials, you look at energy, you look at small caps, you know, you really have, I would say, arguably cheap valuations, you know, based on what other parts of the market are trading at. And they've got a lot of runway to move. Like if you look at energy stocks specifically, they've literally been in a bear market since 2014. So you're just starting to see some asset classes start to recover from a, from a long bear market. Financials were trading in the same place since 2018. And you're also starting to see the foreign markets, which like did nothing for the longest time, starting to move too. So there's plenty of places to put your money right now and get a lot of value. So if there are plenty of places to do it, where exactly are you allocating client money right now? Where's the new money going? Let's say somebody comes in with a check for X dollars. How does that get allocated in your in, in your particular model? Yeah, good question. So basically right now, you've got to have value in your portfolio. You've got to think about that reopening trade. And you've had this huge re rotation going on. And I, I say it's like been hidden in plain sight. Because if you look at the last three months, um, you know, small caps are up over 25 percent. Financials are up 25 percent. Energy is up 50 percent. Foreign markets, emerging markets are up like 15 percent. And if you look at technology, it's only up like 13 percent. So all those different asset classes we've been adding money to. And what I keep looking at, and which just blows my mind, Dominic, is all the money being printed, right? We're looking, talking about another $1.9 trillion on top of the $2.2 trillion, $2 trillion we had early last year with the CARES Act, $900 billion the government bestowed upon the economy back in December. And all of that looks very, very inflationary to me. And it also says that we're going to have like rocket fuel on the economy come the later part of this year. So any companies that benefit from that reopening, any sectors that benefit from that reopening, you have to have your money there because that's where the relative earnings are going to be much better than places like tech that just killed it last year. But if you're Amazon, you doubled your profits last year. You went from like 10 billion to over 20 billion in profits. You're probably not going to 40 billion in profits this year. But again, going back to places like energy, they're going to double their profits this year because they had no profits last year. So, you know, that's where money's going to gravitate towards. It's going to go where the earnings relatively are better, and it's going to be in those boring old school industries. Ryan, you sound so traditional and establishment. Haven't you heard everything these days is about <laughs> cryptocurrency? It's about marijuana-related stocks. It's about all of these <laughs> different types of new emerging SPACs and everything else. Why haven't you talked about any of those types of investments to put your clients into? Yeah, no matter what the Reddit uh, crowd tells you, Dominic, and yeah, I'm old school, man. You know, eventually the market's going to care about earnings. <laughs> you know, you know it and I know it. And all of these, you know, speculative asset classes that have been bidded to the moon here, um, a lot of that has to do with this flood of liquidity. But eventually, and this is really important, you know, this is inflationary and we're starting to see inflation. Commodity prices are up. Interest rates are up. All of these hot asset classes right now, that's like and that's like that's the death knell for them when you start having inflation. Because when inflation kicks in, investors care about one thing. That's profits and immediate profits, not profits companies are going to have like 40 years from now. So if I'm old school, yes, but that's where the action is going to be. All right. If you're old school like that, take us through then some of the favorite ideas that you have right now. Are there specific stocks or industry groups that you're looking to get into, whether they be individual names or via the ETF market? Yeah, so I mean, I've talked a lot about energy this morning. So obviously, I'm really enamored with energy right now. I like pipelines specifically. You know, if you, if you start looking, you get like a 7%, 8% dividend, like the Alarian Pipeline Index. Um, you know, basically, it's a toll. Every time that oil or gas, natural gas is like put through those pipelines, that's a great place to put money right now. They're paying in a single digit valuations right now. And again, oil demand's going up. It's not going down. Old school fossil fuels. We're still going to be using them for another 20 years, Dominic. Peak energy demand still years away. And I have to think, you know, when the economy reopens later this year and economic growth is like six or seven percent, we're going to be flying more. We're going to be driving more. So I think that's a really, really important place to have money right now. The financials as well. Interest rates are going up. When interest rates go up, banks make more money. They're going to lend more as the other, you know, the latter part of the, the year comes into play. 
and people are feeling those animal spirits again. They're going to want to borrow money again. Uh, businesses are going to borrow again. You know, it's just going to be an absolute melt up in the economy at the end of the year. And that's two big ways to play that. That's two places that I you know, right now we're allocating capital for our clients.